So in order to draw a quad like this, uh, I'm going to introduce you a method which is index indexing, so creating creating an element buffer object. So why it is useful? I'm created something in Inkscape. So we have a triangle, a right triangle <coughs> with these positions and uh, in order to create a quad we need a second triangle and uh, we move it here so now we have two triangles forming a quad but the problem here is is we have duplicate vertices so the red triangle has uh, one vertex in po minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 the this is the uh, bottom left the bottom right 0 0.5 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 the top right is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 and now the green triangle has the same here in the in the bottom left corner so minus 0.5 and minus 0.5 the same the upper right corner which is 0.5 and 0.5 and this vertex here which is negative 0.5 and 0.5 so we, we, with this way of draw, drawing uh, triangles we, we will have a lot of duplicate vertices so how to avoid it is by introducing uh, so-called indexing so creating an, an uh, EBO or element buffer object so with with that we are creating we are reusing the already created uh, vertice, vertices which means that uh, we only need four vertices to draw a quad instead of uh, six so indexing uh, works like um, it tells uh, in which order to draw uh, those triangles so the zero index is here the bottom left the first index in the bottom right the second index in the uh, upper right corner and reuse the second vertex in the upper right then the third vertex which is in the upper left and reuse the zeroth index which is in the bottom left so let's imagine that we have something like this complex 3d shape without indexing without using vbo's or, or vertex buffer objects we gonna have a lot of duplicate vertices and with this complex object uh, it will it will take much more time to render this or to use it in a real-time graphics or like in games it, it will be 
almost impossible to to render something like this uh, with duplicate vertices. So let's get into coding. I'm created a new file called video 6 and quad. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna change is uh, this array. So the bottom left minus 0.5 minus 0.5 is okay, the bottom right is okay, but now the the up vertex the x position is 0.5 and 0.5 so now it looks like this so it is a right triangle okay so and I'm gonna create the fourth vertex which will be in the negative 0.5 Negative point five uh, to the x, zero point five to the y, zero point zero to the z, and let's give it a white color. So one 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 point zero, one point zero, and one point zero. So four vertices for a quad. The next thing I'm going to do create uh, the indices and it's, it's going to equal an array so the first triangle uses the first vertex the or the zeroth vertex the first and the second and we're gonna reuse the second, we're gonna use the third, and gonna reuse this, the zero. So now, zero, this zero refers to this position, the one refers to this position, the two refers to this position, and one again, the two refers to this position, the three to this and the zero to this. So I'm going to convert those indices to uh, uh, unsigned integer numpy dot array indices indices and the D type is equal to numpy dot u int 32. So these are unsigned integers. Mm, okay, it, I'm gonna rename this triangle to what? Rename it here, rename it here, and uh, rename it here. I think that's all. Yes, so now I'm gonna create that element buffer object VBO. Uh, it's the same as the VBO, so gen buffers glgen buffers glbind buffer buffer uh, bind buffer but now we are binding a gl element array buffer so G, uh, Elementary buffer uh, and EBO. So it looks just all, almost the same like these three lines. So we are gonna copy the 
buffer data. Buffer data. Geo element array buffer. Geo element array buffer, yeah. Byte size is twenty four. Yes, the uh, each element has four bytes, so six times four is twenty four. Yes, uh, <laughs> indices array and uh, the geostatic draw. So to draw. So now we have uh, it looks like it's some messed up. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so now we have six times four, which is 24 times 4 bytes which is 96 so we need to change the VBO to send 96 bytes of data and the last thing is change this draw elements or draw arrays to draw uh, elements elements so gl triangles there are six six elements in the indices buffer S of type gl unassigned int And none. Uh, I think it will work now. Yes, it's working. Okay, so red, green, blue, and the uh, fourth vertex are, are, has this white color. <laughs> 